Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Everdale and to my village. Now today we've got something special that's actually happening within the game and I'm going to go and participate in that in a moment. Now if you look down over on the right hand side you'll see where it says the valley icon and you can see there's a little number one and a circle. Now if I actually go to the chat as an example, you can see some of the conversations that we had. You can also see some of the pop-up messages. You can see down there the Grand Monument research has started. Okay, uh, You can see there's the Level Up Bakery research. And there is an event which started 6 hours and 10 minutes ago while I was sleeping. So we've got our first event within the game. And it looks like it's sheep related. So the great sheepscape as I'm going to call this one let's go and find out what it's all about so we're going to click on that one show event that will then take me straight on over to the actual area where the event is being held and it says grab some supplies you better fix the fences sheep may look cute but they will destroy your gate without hesitation that is true and this is from Julie the Shepherd so there was the intro as well the sheep broke out and they are running loose in the valley fix their pen and bring them home okay so we got tasks to do down here and that's basically the sheep pen just over there next to Corey. So should we blame Corey for allowing the sheet to escape? I wonder. Now, uh, does it actually stop you from collecting sheep or producing the wool from the sheep? I wonder. Now I can have a maximum of 40, which is kind of cool. Um, but um, no, okay, I don't need to worry about it at the moment. There's only two people collecting anyway, which is Gizmo and Malt. So I could add in more. There's more slots down there. So let's go do the event and see what we've got to do. So there's crates down there to be done. Oh, sorry. Now there's crates down there to be done. If I look at the crates, there's a lot of the actual clay that needs to be added. And I get coins for this. So it seems to be mostly clay. Now I've got 38 clay in stock, so I should be able to do some of these. So we get that one done down there, which is 20. There we go. That's one of them. I've got how many left now? I've got 18 left, so I can't do that one, but I can do that one over there, which is a 17. So we can complete that one as well. Now, we've got quite a few more still to do down there. So all of the wood ones have been done. There's one, two, three, four more clay down there. So 20, 36, 40, 52, 67 more needs to be done for this event. We've got 17 hours on the clock. Now, because we need clay, I'm going to have to change my actual way of playing. So at the moment, I've got people working on upgrading my actual building, but they need clay for that one. So what I'm going to do is to remove them from there. And they're going to come over to one of my clay pits, because I've actually got two of them. And I'm going to send that person to the clay pit. Now, uh, again, if I come on over, I've got people working. So... Um, my kitchen patch will be full in a couple of minutes anyway, so I can actually stop Pierre from working as well, cancel his work. If I look at my pantry down there for the kitchen, you can see I've got a lot of items down there I need to start selling and using, so better be careful there. And in relation to my other storage location, the warehouse, same situation. Uh, maybe I need to start making some figurines with the woods as well. But that's later. So we've now got a spare character which means I can start actually doing some more clay and activating Pierre to that one as well. So I've got two people producing clay. Now I've actually got enough of the feed at the moment, so I don't need to stress it too much on that side. I've got two people in the feed area, which is probably a little bit more than is actually necessary, considering it is feeding time. So let's go and get this one to go because it's 79 of one and I only need to get one more piece of wood on that done anyway so that's going to be ready in a minute and 13 seconds now that means that uh, I've only got one person making feed for my people so I've got two people working quite hard in fact three people working hard now so the products will go up on those ones and down um, I should get my upgrade as well and that will work towards actually getting the sheep pen done so that will be cool indeed. 
We've got a few more down there to do. I can start getting those, which is coins as well. Coins are definitely very, very important. And if we look up here, you've got uh, like three stars down there. It's worth, okay, there's the one to three there, 14 of eight and 17 hours to go. And I've got two tokens left. So where you see it says one of three, I've got one token down there. Definitely need more tokens. And the best way to get the tokens is on the reputation road. You can see down there, there's a construction token I've already got. There's a shipping tokens, my next one at 600, crafting products a little bit later. Now it's a shame all of this will be reset on me. Uh, so today will be my last day of playing the test version, uh, which means all of the work that we have done and we looked at uh, will be reset and I will be starting afresh. And uh, with the experience I've gained, that will be kind of cool for me to actually be able to progress my village a little bit faster. There we go. That clay storage is now done. So I like that. I can now store uh, 30 in that one, which is very nice indeed. Now there is another clay storage over there that needs to be upgraded as well. That's a level two. So I could start doing that one as well. So spend 610 coins and my coinage goes down and we can allocate a person to do this one as well. So there we go. We might as well get something going in the background while the people are busy. Now for my actual study, I can't really see what else is required or do more until I've upgraded that because I've already opened it up. So I'm limited on that side as well. But the key thing here is, as I mentioned, we've got our first event. I like that one. Now I do have the nectar down there, which could allow me to speed up the production. Um, now considering today is the last day, I might use all of that nectar. Maybe I'll make a video on it and see how many seconds I can get. Hmm. Actually, that could be interesting to do now, but it will use my feed very quickly as well. But we're good as we are. Okay. The sheep have escaped. We've got the task to do. We've got four more on the go, and I think that is definitely possible. Keep your eye out for the events. They may start while you're sleeping, but if you've got an international team, you can work together to do these events. And then when one person's sleeping, another person is active. Uh, it definitely makes it much easier when it comes to requesting with the production of the other buildings, because you're not all waiting for the same things to be done, uh, and nobody else is using it as well, which is kind of cool. So you can see down there my friend Frackles is using it. Okay, so rude down there. I could do a little bit more myself if I wanted to. We're going to get some bread in there for storage for later. Same over here. Um, if I look at the box, I can start upgrading more as we progress this building. I can use my coins as well for reputation. Um, or I can just start producing goods. There's one already in there, which is me. I can't add another one to the queue, which is a shame. I wish I could, but um, again, I've got to level up on that one. The Great Library has a lot of tasks there, and you can see we're actually upgrading that one or researching that one as well. As we get all of these done and ticked off, uh, we we'll then start coming into the level three, which means upgrading the library again. And then we start to hit some of the guilds, which I actually can't wait to get to, because this means a lot of skills being taught to our farmers, uh, which means better production and better service as well. We've also got a new area, which is the salt field, uh, so we can gather some salt as well. And then there is the premium dock, which allows us to control who comes. So maybe we want to focus on coinage, maybe we want to focus on the actual reputation points. It's going to be interesting to do. I need one more bread, then I can get this one done. We've got 11 hours to go on this as well, which is fine. That'd be nice. If I come on over to the other building as well, <clears throat> yeah, there's quite a little bit more down there. I could do that one as well, um, which I've got now, but I'd rather get the other one done first so without using all of my tokens, at least not yet. I could do that one. That would be very useful for me. Actually, I'll do that one now. There we go. Complete six on that one. Nice. That gives us a little bit more. I've got one token left to do that one later, once I've actually got the fourth bread. 
Lovely, 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 lovely indeed. So, it's in production. It will be ready in about 40 minutes, so no stress. Okay, right, the event's ongoing. I'm happy. My characters are moving. Everything is running smoothly within the valley and the village. And this is Red Knight signing off and hoping that you will download the game as well. Enjoy my how-to and gameplay videos and comment below as usual. Ah, and also hit that beautiful subscription button. I will see you next time. Take care, have fun, and goodbye now.